a very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum student in the track csir so so 2023 we are continuing our previous year question series and in today's session uh, we are going to see the 10 questions from question number 131 to 140 in english and reading comprehension okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session so the key take away of the session as i told you daily we will try to see 10 previous year question and based on those question uh, you can prepare your subject accordingly what should be the important topics that we can find out in this session okay so let's see the first question and your time starts now which of the following sentence is wrongly punctuated student punctuated means punctuation so as i told you this punctuation is very important so question mark exclamatory comma okay those meaning you should know why they have put okay so let's see one by one high and low comma rich and poor comma wise and foolish must i well and good no punctuation error he lost land money reputation and friend fine no problem Pandit Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, died in 1954. Okay, this punctuation are very correct, no issue. Okay, so Pandit Nehru, comma means this is a first Prime Minister. Okay, again comma means uh, is a silent pause. Died in 1964. Okay, let's see the next one. This should be the incorrect. Let's see why it is incorrect. He did not, however, gain. his object okay so here he did not here comma should be there he did not however gain his object so here comma should be there okay so option 4 is the right answer let's see the next question and your time starts now student this is from the filling the blank his bad health is a result dash intemperance okay student this should be filled with this preposition so preposition is again a good topic that you need to prepare so whenever uh, there is some cause and effect kind of thing okay cause and effect okay like uh, his bad health okay this is a effect and cause is uh, result is what this effect is what then there always preposition of is used okay so the correct answer is of his bad health is a result of intemperance okay intemperance okay so option 3 is the correct answer let's see the next question the antonym of the word phony antonym means opposite okay okay so let's see the option if you don't know the meaning of phony don't worry let's try to bug debug it okay so bogus you know uh, no it is a fake counterfeit you again you know that it is fake so these two you can eliminate use elimination strategy it will help you a lot okay superfluous uh, you if you don't know the meaning i will tell you it is duplicate okay this is a uh, uh, means not required uh, superfluous means that is not required okay that is redundant you can say so again this is not correct so antonym of the word phony is genuine okay where is the synonym is counterfeit and bogus okay so option 4 is the correct answer let's see the next question in which of the following sentence the word above have been used as a preposition okay student if you read the sentence now you will find all preposition are okay okay but which is more appropriate in the sentence that you need to find out the have and are above you you'll say uh, it is a preposition above means stop so this is correct okay so we'll tick it is correct the moral is above the civil again above means above the civil means it is on the top of the civil so again you will say it is a correct analyze the uh, above sentence you will say yeah this is also correct because above is there so this should be correct our blessing come from above again you will say 
above here uh, you can say above means stop again you will say it is right so which one is right okay so this is very confusing uh, you can tell me which is the right but uh, the correct answer for this question is option 2 the moral law is above the civil okay some people will definitely say analyze the above sentence is correct heaven are above the correct but why it is correct uh, if you also know you can tell me in the comment box uh, because i will not i am not able to make out uh, which is the correct one okay so let's see the next question mass a correct word to describe the group of animals and the birds okay group of animals and birds again i t already told you in the last session it is collective nouns okay so let's see what we know so pack uh, wolf generally a group of wolf is called pack so pack so a1 so a1 we have option 1 only so 1 is the correct answer let's see the other uh, collective noun for your knowledge uh lion you know uh, uh sorry a this is not correct a this a is going to 2 okay so a is going to do 4 is correct okay so a is going to do pack of wolf whereas lion it is called pride of lions okay and uh, if you go with kitten kitten is uh, the baby of the cat so it is called litter okay the collection of kitten is called litter whereas the collection of a group of geese is called geels so option 4 is the correct answer okay let's see the next question which of the following is not correctly spelled only the commonly word because as a section officer or assistant section officer you should be able to identify the incorrect spelling okay while checking the documents okay so accommodation is a common word a c c o m d o o d a t i o n very good it is correct accessory is a common uh, word generally uh, people do mistakes so this is also correct here accuracy is correct so allotted is wrong why it should be double t okay so option 4 is the correct answer it is a allotted okay let's see the next question the correct uh, matching between the statement a and b is what okay so let's see uh, the, these are the basically idiom or phrases you can say so let's see with which we will start to uh, with one voice you, you you generally know with one voice if people are saying with one voice they are what unanimous so we will straight away connect b with three so b with three is option two option two is the correct let's see the other one also uh, to vo voice once views uh, it should be one to give uh, expression of one idea to have voice in to have a say in the determination of okay so option two is the correct answer let's see the next question it is from the filling the blanks and uh, you need to fill it with the preposition there is no exception to rule okay uh, this is a very simple one okay there is no exception to rules okay uh, if you read the preposition you can easily find why we have used to here not for rule okay okay so option two is the correct answer let's see the next question which of the following is not correct okay he liked you better than he likes me okay it is correct i worked hard so that i might succeed it is again a correct he said that honesty was the best policy again it is looking correct i eat so that i may live again it is correct so which one is incorrect can anybody tell yeah i also don't know all are correct but uh, i don't know whether uh, question is uh, correct or incorrect but the answer key says that it is option 3 i don't know why they have put uh, from my perspective it is uh, correct one as the vocabulary if you know the answer you can comment it uh, it will help other student also let's see the next question i think this is the last question 
uh, again from the EDM and phrases so you have uh, seen the word like every dog has his dates okay every dog has his days means everyone can succeed sooner or later right a dog's life means who is constantly worried so a with one and uh, b with three a with one and b with three so option one you can straight away take it okay so option one is the correct answer okay so uh, we can see they are only asking uh, the terminology which we commonly use in our daily life okay so that is a good thing about this exam okay so we have seen the 10 uh, in previous year question from general English and uh, the key takeaway of session is that uh, we need to see the punctuation uh, before going to exam collective noun is again important misspelled word we have seen in this time and uh, error detection EDM and filling the blanks this is given in the syllabus and it is very much matching with the questions also okay so what type of questions uh, they are expecting uh, we have seen it in the previous year questions okay so that's it student uh, we are wrapping this session so thank you for watching and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box